to my channel just a mom my name is Megan and today I have like a organizing my pantry I'm gonna try to organize I'm gonna organize my stack cupboard real quick and then my freezer right here needs to be organized as well and then my uh, my pantry needs to be organized too so I have a kitty cat we ended up getting a new cat yesterday let me introduce you to her this is our kitty Ella huh she's about six months old and she's going to be best buddies with mr. pickles which I don't know where he is at but our other cat Mustang we no longer have and mr. pickles really seemed extra lonely yet him and this cat have not warmed up yet so anyways i'm going to do some organization i'm going to show you the before and then i'll show you the after and i'm hoping it only takes like 45 minutes so let's get started well this counter is already a mess but this is my snack cupboard that is a huge mess so I'm looking at pulling everything out, setting it on the counter, and I'm probably, I like to keep my chips up in the very top. So I'm thinking I might pull those two bins down and stack all the chips up that are not open so it looks nice and organized, and then I'll just work my way down. So we're going to start here, and then instead of stopping from there, we will go into the pantry. It is just... It's a hot mess in here, so I want to get like my pasta organized a little bit better up there. I have bags down here that need to go back up there. And I have a cat that does not need to be in there. No, no. So, anyways, this is my pantry. And I'm probably going to fight with a cat the whole time cleaning it. Thank goodness, that's going to be fun. So I just want to organize it. Like, these cookies are open so they don't belong in here. And I'm fighting with a cat. Like, ah, she likes to be at my butt, it seems like. So anyways, I'm going to organize this. I'm going to just start with one shelf at a time and go from there. So this is it that I want to organize. And then I'll show you my freezer. So this is my freezer. It's kind of somewhat organized, but not. Like, I have a hard time closing it and everything. So I just want it to be really more functional because in my fridge I have seven jars of chicken broth that need to be in the freezer so they last longer. So let's get started, guys.
snack cupboard you remember what it looked like before so this is all the open stuff besides like nuts um, I have a small little thing of nuts right here but then like the main portion is at the very top of nuts I have to crack and whatnot so I have all of this let me back up so you can see looks a lot better right I agree and then I did all of this. Oh, I need a drink real quick. So I organized all this. We had a whole bunch, I don't remember how many, I'll show you in a minute, jars of pickles up there that I'm taking downstairs. Just so we have room. Because when we get done with our jars, I put them up there and with all those pickles we just wasn't having room. So this is like all the canned goods that we have, and then like prepackaged food, which this should probably go there as well. And then this is like tuna fish and smoked oysters, and you can't even see what I'm showing you, and stuff like that. And then top ramen, and then our condiments and pickles. Okay. I'm done. And then bread, rice instant potatoes and then our pasta section besides what we have up there which we've never tried whole wheat pasta and we have a whole bunch up there so i don't know if we're gonna use those or not and then can you move so i can show them what's here and then i have all my baked goods i have coconut flour almond flour brown sugar powdered sugar sugar and flour all right there oh and then like sugar no calories stevia chocolate chips anything i need to bake with is here and then cocoa powder i have my baking mixes here and then all my my cake mixes and hot chocolate so we did all that the bottom's still kind of a mess but we just throw all of our wood chips there so it's just normal like it's cl the cleanest it's been in a while then we got our bang our soda and our water and then i have have my freezer which is so organized now so it looks really really nice and everything like that let's close it all up okay and then this is the bag or the box of like meat that I took out of my freezer here that I'm going to put downstairs we don't need it up here it's not like a huge necessity to have it up here so I did that, and then these are all like the condiments I don't need up here. Don't drop those. So I'm going to take these downstairs, put them in my stock pile, and then we have all these pickles that we canned last summer, so don't don't drop it, okay? I have got these pickles. I know, those pickles are heavy, huh? 
So we have two different kinds. I did a sweet and spicy and then just a dill, a garlic dill. There's what, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cans here. So we're just gonna take them downstairs. So that is my organizing. It wasn't like thorough, like I should have pulled everything out and wiped it all down, but I was on like a short time crunch and wanted to get the most accomplished as quick as possible. So that's what I did. Say bye, Shelby. Bye. What do you say? How do you end the video? See? Look at, look at the camera. And say thank you for watching my mom's video. Thank you for watching my video. Give it a thumbs up. So if you like it. And then subscribe to my channel. And then say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Hey, Shelby. What? Do you say bye? Bye.